and it will stay gusty as far as the wind speeds and the wind gusts throughout the next 12 hours as well, and they'll even increase as we go throughout the day tomorrow. As we wake up tomorrow, we can actually expect a lot of our wind chills to be in the single digits. So if you have any early morning plans, just make sure you're still bundled up. As we watch everything on Future Tracker, again, we're watching still just a few more of these bands just continue to develop throughout the valley during the overnight hours and even when we wake up tomorrow morning as well. And throughout the day, Sunday, we're just still watching these lake effect showers develop until we get into the afternoon. That's when things start to settle down a bit. There'll still be a few on and off bands here or there, but overall things will continue to stay relatively calm, but still very chilly as well going throughout Sunday afternoon into the evening. Just a few more bands would be expected Sunday night into Monday, but otherwise it's not really too much that we're watching even as far as accumulating snow. Not really tracking too much, maybe just a coating. Overnight lows tonight, 24 degrees with more scattered lake effect snow showers throughout the overnight hours. Tomorrow will be very breezy as we go throughout the day and more lake effect snow showers are what we're tracking on and off throughout the day. Going into the week ahead, we're watching a bit of a warm up as you go into Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see ourselves into the 60s, but that comes at a cost with a couple more systems moving in that will be dropping our temperatures after some showers and thunderstorms. By the time we get to this time next week, we're basically in the same spot, just minus the snow.